Now, if that doesn't give you chills, I don't know what will. Hi there, my name's Trunav, I'm the only me there is, and welcome to Ori and the Blind Forest. And not just any edition, the definitive edition. Now with this game, I hope to take you back to 2015. I mean, if that if the theme song doesn't do it, I don't know what will. <laughs> it's my attempt at taking you back to a simpler time, a better time. Five years ago, Jesus Christ, it's already been five years. Back before, a lot of things weren't as bad as they are now. But since I don't want to talk about anything bad, let's instead talk about this. Why am I playing Ori in the Blind Forest, even though I've already passed it twice in that year, you know, in 2015? And it's because a couple of weeks from now, Ori in the Will of the Wisps is going to come upon us all. Hopefully, you know, unless the, the, the actual release date isn't delayed or anything like that. And so I thought, what better way to christen the start of that new game than by playing the first game in order to re-familiarize myself with the controls once again, even though, let's face it, it's likely that the actual controls might change a bit for the new game. And also because, hey, I love this game and thought it would be a good chance to play it again. Also. I went reading ahead and I found out that the Definitive Edition actually added a few things. It added an entirely new area as well as a couple of powers, so that there's something to look forward to after all. Now worth noting is that I may have played this and beat it twice to 100% back five years ago, but I don't remember anything about it. I remember bits and pieces, you know, the big dungeons and the ending and all that. It was really great. I remember the zones vaguely, but... I don't know, maybe it's on my memory, but the actual game itself, I don't recall it all so well. So in a way, this is like me being noob all over again, but with the added twist of having known the game, of having played it, and of having new things to do. So I'm hoping I get to pass this game in time for the March 11th release of Ori and the Will of the Wisps. We shall remember the night! I'm not even gonna talk over this. I mean... If it were up to me, I wouldn't talk over any of this game. Simply because the music is just... Ah! I love it. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. And the art style... is just... breathtaking. I mean just like the first time I played it. Made a really big impression on me back way when, and to be honest, so many places in this game make for so many great wallpapers. It's just, it's nice. And so we begin! Between the story, the animation, just the general metroidvania of it, of it all, the power-ups, and I don't know, everything. Everything about this game is perfect for me. So I'm kind of excited to see what the new zone is like. I forgot how to jump already! Darn it! Pressing the wrong buttons. And there I am, little old me. Heartwarming. That's how I describe this game. Heartwarming, even, even through all the bad stuff. You know, even through all the bad parts. Hey, Ori, come on, wake up. Time to go. You and your beautifully animated sprite, you. Even though you're probably not a sprite, you're more like 3D. Right. I gotta get used to the control scheme again. I am not used to pressing jump on square, but just ugh, can't not. Enjoy the frickin' art style and music. Yum yum. 
Now, as for the actual game itself, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna structure the videos. I mean, I did already pass it once, twice before. Not on the channel, the channel isn't that old, but... I guess while I learn to play again, and in some of the more important areas, obviously... What matters will be shown. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the composer's name would get was Gareth Coke. Uh, Gareth... God, what was it? I forget. I'll probably add that in during editing, but, um... I think, if I'm not mistaken, that his name was on the new game as well. And God, I hope so. I love the music. I mean, yes, I've said that like five million times already, but shut up, I love it. Also, when we get to it, because I don't remember the name of it, but when we get to that place, I will sh show you, I will let you know of my favorite track in the entire game. The one that always, always gets me to come back to the soundtrack. Master of the Forest, Spirit Guardian. I'm coming, don't worry! I'll be right there! I don't even know if this counts as cutscenes or if it can be skipped or not, but I don't really care. This is the kind of thing that you gotta show, even if it is a five-year-old game, you know? If you haven't played it, play it. And if you haven't played it, then where the hell were you five years ago? <clears throat> Indeed. Oh, oh no, I forgot about this. No! No, Naru, no! Also, it feels very appropriate to play this game right now. Here and now. Not just before the, the new one comes out, but... 2020 has been pretty rough so far. I think everyone needs a little picker-upper. And I'll be damned if this game isn't a huge picker-upper in many ways. Depressing in some ways, yes, but ultimately... Very wholesome. I say, as Naru is dying of hunger... Jeez. I'm terrible. Don't worry, Naru. I'll find you more food. I'll be back. I think... One of the best things about the music, and the world, is the sense of mystery and exploration it evokes. I mean, sure, knowing about the game kind of strips that away because you know what's hap what's coming but but playing this for the first time truly was magical for me it was pretty much life-changing in a way and uh, yeah it evoked that feeling of wanting to know more about the world wanting to explore it all it's why I passed the game twice the first time was just me having fun with it. The second time was me having more fun with it and getting 100% of everything. One thing I did read about the Definitive Edition, other than the things I already mentioned, is that now, after you beat the game, you can load the file back in instead of just having a complete file and fetch more things. I, I, I don't recall if it was that way or not in the, in the original game, but... But, um, it's good to know, you know, it's good, it's good to see that now. Ah, oh, man, the chills, they don't, they don't stop coming. Super wholesome. 
Oh shit, okay. Calm down, me. It's just Ori in the Blind Forest, okay? We've been through this two times. I can handle it. I'm a man! Jesus, ten minutes, huh? Already this? Editing is gonna be a real bitch, huh? We're gonna have a real problem on our hands. Getting things to work right without cutscenes. Nah, but it's okay for the first episode. I promise. I- oh. <laughs> I swear this happened, I think, the first time too. I did not remember I could walk here. Alright. Come on! Just a little further. You can do it! Oh, come on, Ori! Climb! Food, it's almost there. I mean... I mean, oops. I'll blur that out. You heard nothing. You saw nothing. I think the symbolism in this game is also fantastic. I mean, what little symbolism there is. But more like... The symbolism combined with the, the general story. Pop, pop, help me out! What are you doing talking to the viewer? And in my case, the player. Come on! I'm so weak and hungry. Screw your last breath. I choose my own path, my own fate. Fills me with memories. <sighs> Jesus. The journey begins. Hey, now. I... hold on, I need to put that in there, I just... I like showing the achievements, you know. But that was an achievement, the journey begins. I'll be right back. Alright then! Woohoo! Oh shit, I don't remember I was this fast. Press, uh, hold it to jump higher. Forgot all about that, man. Whoa! Right, 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 right. There was a secret over here, I remember that one. Spend the small spirit light container. Spirit light has been added to your donut bar. Find more spirit light containers to quickly gain ability points. Yes, 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 of course. Don't we all just know that? I can't wait to start pairing. Uh, right, I can't go this way. Yeah, I remember. I remember enough. I forget how to attack things, was it? No, I can't do it. Alright. Boing. Thank you. I found a life shard. Collect these to restore my vitality. I'm gonna have to get some buttons in here because I don't remember them. Game, please tell me. Energy self found. I can now collect and use more energy. Remember that I can use energy to create a soul link and save my game. Ah, thank you. Soul link was it? Bonk. Thank you. Mm. Oh no! Help me! Die! Right then. <laughs> I found some more spirit light. When I fill the donut, I'll gain an ability point. Sweet. I think part of the reason why the art is so perfect, or rather why it lends itself so nicely to wallpaper, is just how ethereal it looks. It looks really... I don't know how, what, how, what to call it. Spiritual? Like, otherworldly? Deep in the forest? We found what was lost. Uh, I, I'm playing with 
a PlayStation controller, but I think the game picks it up as Xbox. And I think the buttons are mapped wrong. Because your A is my square. Ah, yes. Sign. I was lost in this glen when she loses her grip. I can guide you on your journey if you allow me to come. Of course! I love you! I, I, I never... I, I don't care if you're a fairy that tells me to listen. But be still! Can you hear that? See? They must have fought you here. Oh no! Tap X repeatedly to use Spirit Flame. Right! I mean, it doesn't matter if... If, uh... If I have to use different controls than what is on screen, it's not like as if I'm following the, the exact Xbox ones anyway. As long as I remember what each button does, we're fine. Their light shall return to me, these words the spirit tree once said. In the glade past the caverns, we'll find him. There's a path up ahead. Okay then. So wait. Ah, uh, I kind of want to see the, the map. Uh, let me see the map. No, not that. The map! Oh, right. Right. You know what? I'll check it later. I wanted to check how much of the map, or rather where the new one is, but... Tap B to access the ability tree. Right. Oh yeah, the ability tree. If I'm not mistaken, at least in the original game, you couldn't actually complete it. It wasn't a thing you could do. Can I move? Thank you. Ow! You frickin' man! You couldn't actually complete the- Whoa, buddy! Whoa! You couldn't actually complete the spirit tree. Like, you could choose a path, but I don't recall if you actually could complete it all. I found an energy shard. Sweet. Sweeter than sweet. No! Right, oh, I can't- I, I think I said it already, but I can't wait to start pairing. Really can't. Boom, boom, boom. And boom, there we go. I, I gained an ability point. All right. Spirit wells are ancient structures that were used to quickly traverse all of Night Bell. The light of the spirit wells will also replenish your strength whenever you're weary. I mean, can you imagine? Ah, and you can warp now. You can do that before. Can you imagine? If the new game is also in Nibel, I mean, won't we already know the map then? Press A or square to jump even higher. Gotta love the reach on that. Ow! Freaking piece of crap. Let's start doing it now. Okay, you know what? This is not working out. Give me a moment. I'm going to see if I can't set up these damn controls. There we go. I actually had to make it so that the computer thinks I'm on an Xbox controller, but now we have things as they should be. I found a keystone. They're used to open spirit gates. Remember that each spirit gate will require a different number of keystones. Yeah, I'm not gonna remember. Just like I won't remember every single little secret thing. Right, can I come this way, boy? Woo! Pressed the wrong button there. <laughs> Got used to the bad configuration already. There's another one. Oh yeah. Uh, it's like riding a bicycle again, honestly. Like, maybe not the whole... Oh, that was close. Like, maybe not the control scheme and all that. But definitely... Definitely playing this is like riding a bicycle again. You just remember everything. This spirit gate blocks us. They were built for protection before the days of decay. The required keystones must be nearby. To reach the spirit tree, we must pass the spirit caverns that lie beyond this gate. Hey, yes, ma'am. Can I do it now? That is not what I wanted to do. That is not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. Ooh. We have maps. Well, we're going to skip the spirit caverns anyway, so... Whoa, buddy! You dead? All right. Man, I can't wait till I'm strong enough to one-shot everything and to parry attacks and just be the best that ever was. Ooh! Careful now. Can't climb up there just yet. Oh my god! Ow! 
hurting me. That's not very cool. Yeah, I remember that guy. I am not in the right area. Really not in the right area. And again, I don't remember. I think I can go get fetch another power up though. All right before I do anything, grab that. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. 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 Ooh, Jesus! I gained an ability point. I wonder why. Cause I got the donut or something. I remember. Doesn't matter. Woo! Oh, are you kidding me? I was gonna grab it and it disappeared on me. That's so stupid. Oh, whatever. There were those that turned to hope, like always, like they should. And she ravaged and killed. That's right, Kuro was her name. The light of the spirit tree lives in all of us. He is the reason we're alive. He's the reason we grew. When he called out to find you many years past, we were attacked, wounded, and killed by our foe. Now these ancestral trees are all that's left behind. Come closer now and feel the light of Phil, the spirit inside. Ah, good old Phil. Gotta love Phil, man. Right, X is square now. Remember. The power to climb the walls is mine! Use his ability, push down towards the wall, and press A to continuously leap upward. Yes, Cherie. I think this was one of those games that really got me into Metroidvanias. I found an energy cell, sweet. Like, way more than other games. I, I don't think I would have been able to enjoy, for example, Hollow Knight had I not played this game first when I did. Right, I know I can't reach up there yet, but you guys need to stop exploding on me. Thank you. Ah, uh, the game's music is so beautiful. Whoa, wait a minute. What the hell? Oh. Tricking me with your yellow... Your yellow crap, man. Ow, man, ow. Can't reach up there. Ugh. One of the things I also love about this game is the parkour aspect of it. Gotta love being able to parkour through shit. Now uh, hold on there, cowboy. That's right, I'm talking to you. Actually, can't I use the ability tree now? Ooh, I have three points and I can get all of this. Rekindle allows me using soul links and shortens the cooldown timer. I don't think I need this yet. Spirit magnet. Yes, mouse pickup now float to Ori. This is something I need. Choices, choices. Yeah, see? <laughs> the achievements! They're letting me know I probably can't complete this no matter how much I want to. But hey, we need the magnet. Map markers... Makes most pickups show up on the map. Gotta say that's pretty good. Life pickups will, will restore twice as much life. That'd be good too. Allows you to shoot three flames before recharging. Not sure about that. So I'm gonna hold off on it, just for now. Ori, this is a map stone, one of the many ancient markers created to chart the forest of Nybel as it grew. There's a piece missing. If we can find the map stone fragment, we might be able to repair it. Damn right. Is it this thing? No way! Bonk! Uh, bonk? Am I not inserting it right? I don't think I am. Right. That's not it. I, I That was something else. You know, I completely forgot enemies just naturally respawned. Woo! Alright then, this area. I remember this area was pretty darn awful. I don't remember if there was anything up here, but not like I can do anything about that right now. Push! Push! Push, Ori, push! Keep on pushing! Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're, we're fine. Woo! Oh, there we go. Nice. Alright. Got that part done. And I believe that down there is something. Let me just grab it. Wow! 
Owie! Ooh! Hey! Ooh! I said let me grab it, not let me die. Alright. Fair enough. Bip, 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 bip. I can grab this. And push that. Sweet. Woo! Alrighty. Oh, this was the map stone fragment. Ow, man! Ow! Sweet! Marking the way! Okay, then. Perfect. My current objective is still to find the spirit tree, but I think I can explore a little bit more. No, wait, no, I couldn't. I can't swim yet. Uh. Maybe, maybe there's a bit too more. A bit more to explore. I can't remember. Oh, I got these two fragments, so that's good. New area! I mean, I should probably go back, because there's still more to see, but at the same time... I... can just go back whenever I want, so that's, that's okay. Let's keep it going! Oh yeah, this part, I hated this part. Right then, let's... Uh, boing? Ooh, ah, ee, ooh! Stop, ooh, please! Woo! Too young to die! No! Oh gosh! Well, that was instant death. How embarrassing. Yo, wait, what? Oh, I already opened that! Are you kidding me? Ah, it sucks. Right. I got the map stone right, didn't I? Oh, okay, I forgot all about that. I forgot that when you die, you lose all your progress. Uh, daily reminder to always save. Never let this happen to you. Be right back then. First things first, let's... I cannot create a soul link near enemies. Screw you and let me do this my way. Like, go. Oh, yeah, game save. There we go. Do I still have my abilities? Yes, I do. I was afraid I couldn't save after all that. Yoink. Yoink. Ah, shit. Can I duck? Oh, I can. Would you believe me if I told you that I'm learning this just now? Woo! Can't exactly walk, though. All right. One more time. Yeah. Woo! Ha ha ha! Awesome. I think there was a way up here through here, but I can't find it right now, so it doesn't matter. Ooh, ah, Jesus! Oh! Okay then. You saw nothing. I did not die. What are you talking about? Alright, there was this. These energy gates are sealed by the spirits of the past. If we collect enough energy cells, they will open a path. But I clearly... ...don't have enough. Right? Let me open! Let me in! Whatever. I know what you might be thinking. Don't you need some kind of a power-up, double jump, to reach that? Nonsense. I... I can make it. See? I made it. <laughs> Let me just save here just in case. I don't want to die, after all. Oh, yeah. Okie dokie. That's four of you guys. I'll use you later. Or, or, or now. Either way works. Let me in. Come on. Soul Link is ready. Oh, I can now save the game again. Excellent. Somber, they found me dormant and still. He told Ori the tales of her misguided will. Sure, let me just walk up to you, tree brother. I mean, tree father. Pop, pop! The ancient being. Ori, the spirit tree, he must have used the last of his strength to save you. Right, Pop, pop wasn't alive. Come now and hear our story. It was the night of the light ceremony. It was our light that she hated. 
But but she's just misunderstood. But my child never came. Yeah. You had all those other children, but no, you wanted me. Because I'm the chosen one. I know, I know. I'm telling you, she's just misunderstood. If you played the game, you know, and if you didn't play, then I'm telling you. Misunderstood. Like every good villain, of course. Ah, Kuro. I mean, honestly. How could I talk? Well, there that goes, anyway. Kuro stole sign. It was the end of our days. But then I found sign again, and, you know, the, the beginning of our days began. Makes sense? Cool. You received the spiritual light. He put our fate in your hands. Listen carefully now, for you must understand. Did that always rhyme? Spirit trees sustained the three elements of light, and in turn they brought balance and kept Nightbell safe. Right, there's our first big dungeon. The element of waters, high top the Ginzo tree. Or Ginzo. The element of winds, deep within the forlorn ruins. That place, I hate that place. Love it, but hate it. The element of warmth, beneath the fires of Mount Horu. That is the third and final supposed wink 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 nudge nudge. A bonkers a dungeon. To restore Nightbell to its former self, we must rekindle their light before it's too late. The first we will find beyond the spider coves, atop the tree where the waters once flowed. This is honestly one of my favorite areas in the game. Lush and green and beautiful and just great. Just wait till we get to it. Alrighty, let's save! That's not how you save. Can I save? Uh, can I save? There we go. And okay. I'm not going to warp, I'm not going to save, I'm not going to do anything, I'm going to leave the- I could have just been saving all along over here, couldn't I? Yeah. Anyway, having said all that, done all this, I know it's probably not too much, or maybe it is, depends on how you see it. I'm going to leave this episode here, I want to keep it nice, short, simple, concise, beautiful. Just sort of, like I said before, touch upon the key parts of the game as we move forward into the March 11th date. I think I can, I can actually p beat the game, you know, complete, full, everything, as much as possible before then. But already I'm having a blast playing this again. And honestly, it feels like passing through everything is really easy and fast. Because, first of all, Ori runs like a speed demon. And second, because I kind of, you know, I know where to go. I know how to play. I've played this before, right? Jeez, leave me alone. But anyway, if you enjoyed it, please... Don't forget to hit that like button down below. Comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button for some sweet, sweet notifications. But as always, I'm the only me, so you'll be the only you. See you next time. Yeah.